Hello, and welcome to your IAPS website. In this video, I will be showing you how to add a blog to your website. First, we need to set up a menu item that the blog will connect to. Click Jump to Site Editor. This will take you to your home page in edit mode. Now that you're on your home page, you'll see pencil icons next to your main menu items. Click the one for which you want to add the blog page under and click Create Submenu. This will open up the Add New Menu Item window. Give the submenu a name. The URL friendly name should automatically populate its field. Next, click Save. Now that we have our submenu for the blog created, we can save it to the website by hovering over Workflow and clicking Publish Now. Here you can see the new submenu that we've created. Now, hover over the IAPS logo here and click Content Manager Dashboard. This will take us back to the dashboard. Navigate to the Blogs Library by going to Manage Site Assets, Engagement Tools, and Blogs. In the left column of the Blog Library, select the Blog Directory here and click the plus icon above. This will create a new node underneath the Blog Directory. You can rename the blog by clicking on the pencil icon above the new node, making sure the new node is highlighted first. It is important to note that the blog will automatically be added to the heading of the blog page, so it is not required to add blog to the end of the blog name. For example, instead of typing our blog, all you would need to put is our. With the new blog directory selected, the new node you just created under blog, Click the icon above the blog directory that looks like a gear. We now need to specify the settings of the blog and connect it to the menu we have created for it. Here we will find the submenu that we created for the blog. We can navigate under primary navigation, find our main menu, and then find the submenu. Next for blog list template, we'll choose blog listing. For post detail template, we'll choose blog post. For content definition, we'll choose blog post as well. Once you're finished with that, click Save. The blog should now be connected to the submenu we created on the site. You can add a new blog post by simply clicking the Add New button here. This will open the Add New Post window. Here we can give our blog a title, we can choose a date, put in the author, and put in our email. You can put in the contents of the blog here in the IOPS text editor. And also you can add an image to the blog by clicking the ellipsis button here, which will open up the IOPS image library. I'll just go ahead and fill in some content as an example. Once you're done editing your blog, click publish here. This will save the blog to the blog page and now we can view it live on the website. All we would need to do is go to Site Editor Home Page and then navigate to the page where we created our blog. Here we see our blog title and if we click on the link for it, it opens up the blog post. And that's how you add a blog to your website. 